What's up? It's your favorite attorney, Attorney Allie Booker, and today we are going to discuss the implications of Tasha Kay's uh, judgment that Cardi B got against her. Um, right now, um, Cardi B is trying to come um, and look for Mr. Kebe, African diaspora, Mr. Kebe's uh, financials. Okay, um, and Mr. Kebe is Tasha Kay's husband. He hails from Africa. He has businesses there as well as businesses in America. Um, it's my understanding that he is a highly successful producer in his own right outside of Tasha Kay's gossip network. So because he is someone who is um, influential and he makes money um, in, in and through other entertainment businesses, Tasha Kay has now sought to get his information as well, I guess, to see what he has to pay off Tasha Kay's debt. Everybody knows that Tasha Kay, um, Cardi B was awarded $4 million against Tasha Kay, just Tasha Kay herself, okay? I want everyone to be clear that Tasha Kay's husband was not sued, okay? It, the, the lawsuit, is, the name of the lawsuit is Bel Calise Marlenis Almanzar, that's going to be Cardi B. And she sued Tasha Transcarina Kebe, a.k.a. Latasha Transcarina Howard, and Star Marie Ebony Jones, okay? Star Marie Ebony Jones is the girl that went on Tasha K's show that said that, ta that uh, Cardi B had herpes. And then Tasha K promoted it, did not take it down, etc. Okay? Mr. Kebe owns the company that Tasha K works for. However... He he, and Tasha K are separate when it comes to finances and business, okay? One of the things that uh, many people who have shows do is that, number one, they're not the only people on their show. They're not the only uh, ones bringing the information. And that's something that uh, I will say that Tasha K has done since she has been sued. She's not the only person that is bringing the information. There's more than just she that co-host her show. In addition, she has completely uh, separated herself from the business uh, and in that she's just an employee. So Tasha Kay herself has really no funds um, and she's married to Mr. Kebby. So just because Mr. Kebby has money, it does not mean that Tasha Kay can use his money to pay off her separate debt, okay? Um, and this debt is not on Mr. Kebby. The debt is on Tasha K herself. Because of that, it gives Tasha K wide range to move. It gives Kebe range to move as well. And that's something that people do not understand. They keep trying to attack Mr. Kebe. You can't really attack Mr. Kebe because he was not sued. Okay? And, and now that the case is over, done, tried, and through, you can't mess with him either. So recently... Um, what she did was Cardi B went to the bankruptcy judge that's overseeing Tasha K's bankruptcy because Tasha K did file for bankruptcy. Um, and what she's requesting is that all of Kebe's companies turn over their information regard regarding Tasha K's finances. So they want Morris Tax and Legal, who does the taxes for Mr. Kebe and Tasha K to turn over Tasha's individual tax returns from 2019 to 2022. And she's at requesting all documents provided to the tax company to prepare the returns. She's also requesting all documents and communications received or sent to third parties other than Tasha K, okay? Including but not limited to IRS information regarding Tasha K's employment, her expenses, her business interests, which include Mr. Kebe, uh, which include Mr. Kebe and Kebe Studios LLC, Mona Lisa Brown LLC, and Yellen Entertainment LLC. These are our three companies that Mr. Kebe owns. The rapper wants the banks to turn over the information for all deposits, withdrawals, transfers, copies of the front and back of canceled checks, wire information, and account statements for his additional companies. Now, what I believe she's trying to prove is that Tasha K does have, you know, money and she doesn't need to file for bankruptcy and that this 
four point this four million dollar judgment should not be thrown out in the bankruptcy. Okay. It's going to be a tough call. It's going to be a tough call. That's why it's very smart when people separate themselves from the businesses. Now, she will be able to get some of these financial documents to the extent that they, to the point in which they involve Tasha K. But if Tasha K has nothing to do with these other uh, businesses, it's going to be hard trying to use, trying to use those businesses and associate her with them. And that's just the truth. Especially if she's an employee of these businesses. And she doesn't have spending power in these businesses. And it seems as if she does not. Okay. So that is going to be a huge fight. Um, and I'm here for it. Okay. So what we need to do is look at this. We need to watch this. A lot of us. Because a lot of us have businesses. A lot of us want to get into businesses. And a lot of times we don't understand the necessity of protecting yourself and separating yourself from the business. It's for things such as this, okay? So we want to see exactly, exactly what they determine Tasha K's assets and income is, how much of Mr. Kebe's income that they try to derive and pull over to pay Ms. Tasha K's judgment, if any, as well as whether or not they allow it to be discharged in this bankruptcy. It's going to be a long fight, but it's, it's very interesting. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Attorney Allie Booker, your favorite attorney, signing out. Court is going to be in recess. Make sure you add me on Instagram as well as YouTube. She underscore ya underscore lawyer is on Instagram. YouTube Legal Cutie, TikTok Legal Cutie. Um, also, post your comments below how you guys feel about judgments and things of that nature. And whether or not you guys feel that Mr. Kebe should be responsible for this judgment. I don't think he should be. You know, he's got money everywhere here, Africa and other places. And I don't think he should be responsible for this judgment and what his wife said and did. He wasn't sued. That's just my personal, you know, thought process. And I believe he wasn't sued because he couldn't be. Because Cardi B had some good lawyers. And I believe if they felt like they could sue him, they would have done so. Right? Post your comments below.